All right, Sheikh, let's start with the off season. How was this summer for you? Beginning with off the court, what was the summer like? It was great, man. I spent a lot of time in uh, Dallas, Texas, uh, close to, you know, got a little community of people down there. So um, that was fun. I got to see my family too. So it was pretty fun. On the court, what are some areas of your game that you most looked to improve this off season? I heard you mention three-point shooting and defense. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty That's much it? that. Yeah, defense and three-point shooting. I mean, of course you want to touch up on all the other stuff, you know, ball handling, uh, you know, touch shots and, and things like that. But more majority of the focus was defense and three points. Yeah. What excites you the most about this upcoming season with the 76ers? Man, you know, just feeling healthy, um, being able to be back on the floor competing. And then, you know, with this guy, with the team, um, I feel like this group's going to gel really well. And I think we're going to make a lot of noise. So I'm excited. What are some of your personal goals for the season? You know, in, in terms of individual stats, I, I didn't really, I haven't really made any goals like that. I, I tried to keep the focus more on just improving my defense. I, I want to be in the game when it matters most. And I feel in order for that to happen, it, it has to start with defense. So. What's it like to play for Doc Rivers? Uh, it's, it's, it's fun. Um, he's going to challenge you. He's going to push you. Um, he's going to coach you. But uh, if you can just, you know, stay level-headed and um, just know he wants the best out of you, then, you know, good things will happen. Looking back at the start of your career, how did your time in the G League with the Blue Coats help you on your path? Oh, it, it helped a lot. Um, just you know, being able to, to, to have the ball and, and to you know make mistakes, to go out there and you know push yourself, but it definitely allowed my game to grow, and I can see it translating now. You're a big shoe guy. Kobe's in particular. We mm -hmm. talked to Tobias Harris recently. Mm -hmm. Seems like you guys have like a little barter system going on. <laughs> yeah. Take us through that and like what you end up wearing on the court and how much Tobias helps you out in that department. Yeah, no, for sure. It's a little, it's a community thing we got going on. Uh, you know, he gave me some tips and some secrets on how to get them. And this was before they, they stopped selling them. So um, I was able to, to get a few pairs, uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a, now for me, it's just more like a collection thing. Like I, I try to get as many as I can, uh, get my hands on and, you know, Tobias, he helps me a lot. Uh, he'll, he'll throw me some shoes every now and then. Uh, we got the same size, luckily. So that works in my favor, but it, it's been fun. You exclusively play in Kobe's, right? Uh, yeah. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. um, you have a dog that you're a proud dog owner. Mm -hmm. What? Is, what type of dog is it? What's mm -hmm. the name of it? Yeah, she's a Kane Corso. Her name's Bella Bean. Um, she's like a year and a half old. She's a year and a half now. Um, she's huge. She's a sweet dog and, you know, she's a guard dog. She's loyal. So, yeah, she's my homie. All right, Shake Milton, thank you. Yeah, appreciate it.